going to be learning how to use a rack and rack. And a rack and rack is um, loosely translated as just an arithmetic rack. And so we use those to help students develop their number sense. When I'm working with a rack and rack, I always start with all of my beads pushed all the way to the right. You might tell your students that they're all at rest. And we push them all the way to the right. And then if we're going to build numbers, for example, if I wanted to show the number two, I would in my head count two, one, two, I would take my finger, push the second one, and pull it over. And so this is how I would represent two. If I wanted my students to represent another number, first they would put all the beads back at rest again, so I push them all the way to the right. And let's say I wanted to do six. So in my head, I would count one, two, three, four, five, six, and I would pull it across. Now notice the arithmetic rack is, or the rack and rack is made of two colored beads. There are five reds and five whites. And so this helps students solidify that idea of those friendly numbers of five and ten. So what students will begin to recognize is instead of counting one, two, three, four, five in my head, I just know all the reds make five and I just count on one more to six. So let's try another one. So I'm going to push them all the way back so they're at rest. So let's say I want my students to show me eight. So in our heads we're thinking, well here's five or red, six, seven, eight. So I grab the eight one and I pull them all the way across. You want to focus on moving them all together as a group, not moving them one by one. So that's how we would use a rec and rec just to represent numbers. If I were to represent a larger number, like let's say 13, then I would represent that number by using both of these recs. So for 13, I would do a group of 10, and then I would do three more to make 13. So that's how I use my rec and rec.